Hi, and welcome to the Kali tutorial. Uh, please click the support button and find registration codes. If you had a previous Kali key, you definitely want to view here because you can probably retrieve your old key. Otherwise, let's click the download Kali key, click the middle link, don't click the top one because the top one just plain doesn't work. I've already downloaded it, so let's just begin the installation. Uh, begin by hitting next on everything. <laughs> That's just pretty much the easiest part of this whole thing. Um, now, once we begin this startup a Kali, we have to update it. So just wait through the update. It takes about 30 seconds to 5 minutes depending on your internet connection. And I'll continue once we finish the update. All right, in this section, you're going to have to enter a bunch of information. You can enter, enter uh, whatever you want, practically. Uh, it doesn't have to be whatever they require. I mean, it's just going to be for other people to view. So I'm going to enter gibberish since I just don't want my stuff out there in the first place. So Now, um, you're going to need to also enter the serial information. If you don't have it, you're going to have to go to the registrations to register. It's going to cost about $16 to $20 depending on when you register. Or you can get a free key. Uh, in this case, since I don't want my key out there, I'm going to go and get a free trial account. So I'm now going to register with a name and then I'm going to use an old email address. Now, um, in your email, you're going to get a confirmation. In the confirmation, it will then uh, take you to the page that you need to go to. Now, I've already entered it, as you see there. Now, let's start it up. Now, you got a registration error. I entered it wrong, so that's my own fault. Sorry about that. So ignore that. Now, you want to scan your computer for the games. It's not necessary. You can add it manually if you like. It probably would be better because we are going to have to edit it at the end anyway. So we're going to scan for the games. You want to remove all the Shanghai Destiny uh, installation references. I mean, you don't need it at all. It's, you don't have it on your system in the first place. Um, titanium does not work on Kali, so you probably want to uncheck that as well. But since I didn't think about it at the time when I recorded this, I did not do that. But I did uncheck the Shanghai Destiny. Now, if you did do the trial mode, just hit register later. Now, in the settings, you're going to have to go to advanced. Here you're going to have to set the local IP port. Just get whatever in the drop down box, assuming you're on a LAN, otherwise you don't have to do that. Now this we're probably going to have to change later, at least I know on my machine I have to. So anyway, just hit yes if you get this dialog box. Now on the NAT port, do not change this. A lot of times whenever someone changes this, a bunch of problems appear all of a sudden for no reason. It's just some bug in Kali that no one's really <laughs> solved it unfortunately now you probably on the chat tab you want the display time and the entering and leaving messages those are very useful on the private tab you will also want the beep eh, because a lot of times you don't see the windows <laughs> and the profanity filter that's a must it's worth it it really is just fill out the whatever words you want to block and then hit OK. You should have no problems with that. In the games browser, you want the auto join because what that does is when you click on a thing, it'll automatically take you to the room that you need to go to, basically. The auto get maps is useful in the games tab.
Now there's really nothing on the display tab that you really need to set. So back here and hit OK. You're going to have to restart Kali. Now on this system I had another version of Kali running. So as you probably can imagine I'm going to have some problems in a moment. Now, as you can see, there's a bunch of things that are telling me that this port's in use and not in firewalled. Well, the actual case is it's not firewalled and that port is open, but it's not forwarded to this computer. So um, what we need to do is change number one. We need to change the port because that 2213 on my computer is already used on a different computer. So we bump it up by one. Now... It is the next section you pr probably will have to worry about later. Just a moment. Yes. The UDP port is changing, which I honestly don't understand what they're talking about. But basically, the port's not set in the forwarding. So you need to forward the port because of the router. If you're on modem, you don't have to worry about any of this. That's the good part. Now, uh, on most routers, uh, HTTP colon slash slash 192.168.1.1 is usually the default. Uh, I know it is for the Netgear and the Linksys models. I use a Netgear, so uh, what you're going to see here is going to be a little bit different for a Linksys router. In that case, I just suggest to go to portforward.com and you can get information on how to do it for your various routers. But for in this instance, all you do is go to the port forwarding section in a moment. All right. Now, I've already set it up. As you can see, I have two instances of a calling. It has to be forwarded to the computer that you have. Uh, if you do not know the local IP address for your computer on the network, you can go get it by going to run and then typing uh, CMD. And then in CMD, you can type IP config. From there, it'll give you a list of network adapters, and from that, you can get the local IP address. Uh, if you're on 98 or ME or 95, I believe, uh, you can type WinIP CFG and run and you'll get a, a box that will pop up, which will give it to you. Now, um, in the starting point, for now, I'm just going to type 1234 since I've already done it. So I'm going to hit cancel after all this, but just to show you what boxes you need to fill. You need to fill in whatever you need to fill in that you set inside of Kali. And just set the call service name as Kali. And just you're done after you hit apply. That's basically it for this section. Now let's pull a Kali back up. Hopefully we have no problems and we don't. So now I'm going to set up Kali. I apologize for the speed of this. Um, now we're going to go in and set up NetMEC. NetMEC is, needs to be changed from the MEC address to NetMEC Kali or whatever bat file you have. The current contents of it are in there. You can find the instructions on the walk through for the all of this now I'm setting up next is the netmec 95 so you go to to whatever and set the mech 2.exe file you're gonna have to enter a command line argument of uh, net and then once you do that you're done and you can run the game and you should have no problems from there it should work on XP or any of the rest of it <laughs> Thank you for the, listening to this tutorial. I apologize for the speed, and thank you for listening. <laughs>